Here at the lovely Orleans Arena, it is Sweden taking on Korea. Well, third end of this one, and a chance, narrow port to get through. Nicholas Adin looks at it. He's going to play that out turn through the hole. Pinballs off them, and an unlucky break picks their own off the back of the forefoot, and a steal of one for Korea. But bouncing back in the fourth end, Nicholas Adin, chance to play the intern draw. Kim Chang-Ming, heavy on his. Left the inside available. Chance here, draw in. Get second point. They look at it. There is a third point, so a three for Sweden there. And then in five, line up there. Nicholas Adin missed his final shot, was trying to go around. Here the out turn. Catch it thin off the top one. Go yellow, make the red double. And makes it look easy. The score of two, and we are all square. Four. Four after five ends of play. Seventh end, chance to try and freeze. They hook it around for Korea and Kim Chang Min. Unable to, meeting the hit. And stick for two for Sweden to answer the steal right back. And nine, going aggressively, try and score there too. It's set up all end long. A deuce generated. Nicholas Adin looking to cap it off. The in-turn draw. And it comes right down for the deuce. And a lead for Sweden heading to the 10th end. Out turn draw to force an extra end. Oh. Oh, Yun Su. Siong Se Hayong trying to help guide it into the eight foot. They get it there. Nervous moments for the Koreans. Sigh of relief. They get to play an extra. They tie it up, but in the extra. Unable to get that one set up. The outturn draw for Nicholas Adin to book a spot in the final. First in round robin. Now put this one in the eight foot. And Nicholas Adin uses the back of the eight foot. And it is a single point and a victory for the Swedish team. They move to the gold medal game. Korea to the bronze tomorrow. An incredibly tense game there, and uh, you had to fight back for the win. You're going to the gold medal game. Tell me how that one felt. Oh, that was uh, that was a tough one. We've been playing close to perfect curling for. Uh, a uh, week and a half, and then uh, coming out there and literally having no idea where, what to throw, and uh, it was tough mentally. We had to uh, fight uh, both ourselves and uh, the ice to try and stay in that game and, uh, and not get too frustrated. I, I think we had uh, we had the game plan uh, well executed and we, we played well, but it was just uh, in a different path. It was it was tough for both teams, and uh, uh, they uh, they made us uh, do some tough shots, and we made them do some tough shots, and. In the end, we were really happy with coming down with the hammer in the last there, but uh, still not really sure. We took about two minutes to figure out what, what and where to throw. And what adjustments did you have to make? The conditions were tough today, and did that alter your game plan or the way that you're approaching compared to how you normally would? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we kind of uh, talked about if we don't have to draw, we, <clears throat> we don't want to draw. Uh, hit as much as we can because a, a draw was um, you were just as likely to in the rings on both ways. So. Uh, it, it was tough, definitely. We, we changed our game, game plan to 
uh, playing as simple as we could, uh, keep the middle clean with hammer and uh, just try and make them uh, take the, the unplayed path, so to speak. They they played hits the whole game too, so it didn't really affect them as much, I think. But <clears throat> it was still, uh, I, I think we we had a good game plan. If I if I make that draw for for one instead of the the steal of two, I think we have the game. But uh, made it really tough in the end for sure when they stole two. When you fell behind six to four, what did you talk about with your team? You really pulled it together and closed it out with class. Yeah, we uh, we kind of talked about just scrape it off. Uh, uh, was not much we could have done differently. We could have uh, made a few more shots a little better. We could have uh, figured out the path a little better and made a shot here and there. But in the end, it was it was tough. Everyone knew it was tough. And uh, when they stole two, it was pretty close to a measurement on, on both of those rocks. So uh, we just talked about just uh, do what we have been doing. We have been playing better than the opposition until now. Even though they are in the lead, we can take two back and then it's a close game. So uh, not get too frustrated was uh, key today. Congratulations, good luck in the gold medal game. Thank you. Sum up! Sum up, Lord! Yep.